So I've been getting a lot of questions. What am I going to do with all these mink? I mean, look at this. This is one litter. This is the biggest litter, Maher's litter. What am I going to do with all these little mink? So I'll be keeping several of these babies. And obviously their moms and their dads will be hunting with them as well. Um, but obviously I can't, I don't need 20 new mink. I've, I've got, you know, their parents plus these 20 babies. I don't need all of them. So I've for years have been helping people get into mink. I'm really, what's the right word? I'm really careful with who I get mink for. And it's for two reasons. One, for the good of the mink. Um, you know, if someone gets one of these little guys and, oh, look how cute and innocent they are, and, oh, they're so playful. Well, within just a few weeks, this little guy will be biting everything he can get his little teeth into. All of a sudden, they become a little less cute. And then a few weeks after that, he'll be bouncing off the walls and biting even harder. And a few weeks after that, he'll be trying to kill the neighbor's cat. These are very intense little creatures. They're not like having a ferret. They're not like having a dog. They're not like having a cat. They're nothing like anything that the majority of people who've, who've been around animals have experience with. And so I have to be very careful about who I get mink to for the good of the mink. You know, I want to send the mink to a good home and also for the good of the people. It's not really fair to someone to, you know, have them pay all these expenses to get a mink just to find out, well, I can't handle it. This isn't fun anymore. I, I want out. So it's not fair to the people involved and it's not fair to the mink involved. And so me getting a mink to someone just because they think it's cool or cute or whatever, um, without them being prepared and being the type of person that's gonna be responsible enough and have the work ethic necessary to, to, quiet, uh, to care for a mink properly, it's not fair to the mink and it's not fair to the people involved. So I'm very picky about who I get mink for. Um, you know, I could turn that into a business. I could start selling pet mink and I could sell them left and right all day long and I'd be able to re retire from my job and go into mink full time easily. You have any idea how many people beg me for mink? But here's the thing, I'm not in it for money. If I'm not doing everything in my effort that I can to prepare the people before they get a mink and to, to filter out those who just aren't, aren't going to be responsible enough to care for a mink, then I'm not doing right by the people. I feel like I'm being dishonest to the people I'm selling mink to and I'm not you know, obviously doing what's right for the little animal who's involved. And so I, I do not want to go into the selling mink business. I don't. Now, so here are my basic requirements. These are just the beginning requirements before I'll even consider helping someone get a mink. Uh, number one is you have to read my book. That's a must. If you won't read my book, I'm not getting you a mink. It's pretty straightforward. Um, some people have accused me of, oh, you're trying to make money by selling books. That's a joke. You know how much more money I could make just selling every schmuck who comes by and wants a mink a mink? Oh, I could make so much money. Like I said, I wouldn't need a job right now if I just sold every schmuck who wants a mink a mink. And so I don't do that. I say, hey, you have to read my book. If you think I'm trying to make money by selling you a book, do the simple math. <laughs> I'm making like 10 bucks a book. Not going to get rich off of that anytime soon. You know how much money I could make off of these mink? I could easily say, look, $1,000 a mink, people pay it. No questions asked. They'd buy it. Thousand bucks a mink. So if I was in it for the money, I'd just hand you a mink and say, hey, give me a thousand bucks or give me 500 bucks or give me 800 bucks. That's what I'd be doing to make money. If that's what was my goal. But um, anyway, so you have to read my book. If you're not willing to read my book, don't ask. Don't bother asking. Don't give me excuses. Oh, well, I'm not a reader or oh, it costs too much. Or, if those are your excuses, great. Go get a ferret or find some other way to get a mink. And, and that's another thing I'm gonna get comments of, well, I can find my own mink. Well, great, then go find your own mink. The reality is the vast majority of fur farmers are not gonna to sell to the general public. The reality is the mink currently are almost non-existent in the pet trade. I, I hope they stay that way because the reality is most people can't handle mink and it's gonna be a disaster when they become a popular pet. People will be dumping them in the street and, pet, and at uh, shelters left and right because mink are horrible if you're not prepared for them. So basically, I, you know, I'm willing to help the right people, but you've got to read my book. You've got to have everything ready, proper housing, proper diet plan of how you're going to feed these little guys. It's difficult feeding a mink. You don't just go to the store and buy, you know, mink chow. It's difficult
feeding them a proper diet. You're going to need to be prepared in those basic ways or I won't even consider it. And then after that, we'll have a discussion and we'll see what other preparations you've made. And if you're up to the challenge, you know, I'm more than happy to get you a mink. I love helping people get mink. It's a real joy in my life when I help the right person get a mink and they have success for it. But at the same time, it's the biggest frustration in my life when I help someone that I thought was prepared and they either kill the mink, they lose the mink, they can't handle the mink and want to get rid of it. That is even more frustrating than you can imagine when that happens. So I want to do my best to avoid it and to be able to say when that does happen, hey, I did my best. That guy convinced me and I was wrong, but I did my best to make sure that you were right for the mink and the mink was right for you. And if I can at the end of the day say that, then I'm comfortable and I realize that, you know, things don't always go perfectly. So if you want to get a mink, I've been really hesitant to mention this at all because I know I'm going to get a flood of comments, which I'm okay with, a, a flood of messages, excuse me, which I'm okay with. But if you want to get a mink, now's the opportunity. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below how you can contact me. I honestly still haven't decided as I'm recording this how I'm going to let you contact me because I know it's going to be a flood of people. I'm more than happy to talk with people and help them to get mink. Don't take this as me being a jerk. I want to help the right people to get into mink, but I absolutely do not want to get the fad pet people a mink just because it's something cool, because I know the disaster that's going to ensue afterwards. So if you're serious about this and you want to get a mink, do those things I told you first. Get my book. Read it very carefully. I'm going to test you on it. Don't think I'm just going to take your word for it that you read it. <laughs> I'm going to test you on it. Get my book. Read it very carefully. Do everything you can to prepare yourself and then contact me. And chances are, I mean, you're not going to be able to get one of these little guys. I'll be honest. These guys are all, there, there's a line of people wanting these guys. But I'll get you one in the future when the time's right and you're prepared. Reach out to me through the link below. I'll help you get started. And, and if you end up being one of the many people that I say, hey, you know what? I don't think this is for you. Please take that as me caring for you. It's not me being a jerk, it's me caring for you. If I didn't care about you, I'd just take your money and give you a farm mink from the farm. But because I care about people just as much as I care about animals, I wanna do what's right by everyone involved and I'm not just gonna take your money and hand you a mink. So if I tell you sorry, um, you know, please don't be offended. I'm trying to do what's right and I'm trying to do what's best by both you and the animal involved. So thanks for watching. I know I kind of rambled a lot in this video, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I hope it makes sense. And I hope you're enjoying my channel. 